Hey guys, it's me, Dave, and welcome back to week 14 of Building Crate. All right, guys, so this week I actually took a pretty long trip to the Lego store and I came back with quite a bit of, you know, Lego bricks, not gonna lie. Like, literally, like, it's about 19, like, pick a brick, 19 of these cups worth of Lego bricks. And it's definitely gonna help accelerate Crate, not just for this segment, for it, for the future segments to come. Um, definitely one of the best Lego store hauls I've had in quite some time. Um, I'm very excited now, because now I have a ton of Legos, uh, Lego parts, I should say, to build. And so this particular segment, guys, we're gonna focus on the final eyes version of those trenches. So I think it was either last segment or the segment before that, we were prototyping the trenches by the end of this segment, we're gonna have the finalized version, the final design. That's what we're gonna be doing this segment. Um, not only that, but we're also going to fill in, so when we covered all that area in the last segment with the tiles, there were still those, air, those gaps between where the trenches are gonna be sideways. There's these gaps that need to be covered and there's a new technique I wanna show you guys. Well, it's not really a new technique, but there's a technique that I didn't really think that would work, um, actually works for this. So. Without ado, I don't wanna to talk too much about it uh, without showing you guys. So without ado, let's go ahead and jump into it right now, guys. Okay, so starting this week off, guys, I went to the Lego store, took the trip up. Uh, I don't have a Lego store close to me. It's about a two hour drive, but I took the trip. Well worth it. It was a great trip with a lot of parts. This is so awesome. So what you're seeing here is I got three boxes of different parts. So this is two by four white bricks. This is four by six red plates and two by six red bricks. Um, now I had to buy the bricks. I had to fill up the cups and you know, it's about five or six cups worth each box and then they let me keep the box. So uh, I did pay them by the cup for the boxes cause I don't think they let you buy the boxes anymore or something like that. But uh, that's, how I got, that's how I got the boxes. Like, yeah, I keep the boxes and they're like, yeah, yeah. So that was cool. So I got three pick a brick boxes worth of bricks that's awesome over here these are six cups that i got also so this cup that i have open already is probably the most important they had this really awesome uh part this right here and you know i had played around with this last week or the week before that when we were doing the trenches and i was like ah, eh, don't have enough of these can't really use it to my advantage and then i saw it was on the pick a brick wall and i was like oh my god this is perfect for um for the crate trenches so i went ahead and got an entire cup just full of them so this is gonna be very essential for finishing the trenches. Um, my BrickLink order of the wedge plate should be coming in uh, soon. So hopefully we'll be able, later in the segment, we'll be able to combine this with the wedge plates with everything else. And it should, we should be able to start working on the final versions of the trenches if that's the case. Um, so that's awesome. Glad I got that. Um, I don't wanna go through all the parts that I got here because uh, a lot of you probably get bored, but the main thing that I definitely got is one by one gray bricks specifically. Um, these things are so expensive on BrickLink. They're anywhere between five to 10 cents each, which is a lot for just a one by one brick. That's usually how much like a one by four brick or a two by four brick can cost. You know, it's very pricey. So when I saw they had one by one bricks, especially dark gray, I was like, yes, because they are so, so essential when you're building rock work. Like you have all of these little nicks and crannies everywhere uh, when you're building up the back side of it and you need a one by one brick so much. Um, I remember for Kashyyyk, I had an entire box full of these one by one bricks and I went through the entire thing and that still wasn't enough. So it just goes to show I got as much as I got, uh, as much as I can, it's about three-ish cups worth of bricks. So. That's great. And then I got some more in there. I kind of fit in some more um, uh, four by six plates. Got as much as those as I can, because these are gonna be very essential for the trenches and also in the back part as well, probably. Um, plus, you know, I could always use plates, even though the red it doesn't really matter because I'm definitely gonna probably need to use plates at some point, so. That's great. Now the two by four bricks, um, you'll actually see what these are gonna be used for. They're not gonna be used for, you know, building stuff under. Um, and then the um, 
the two by six red bricks, of course, are for finishing the sides. And we're definitely gonna need a lot because this entire thing is probably gonna be red. I'm not sure, um, at least most of it. So that's why I got so many red bricks and white bricks. So that's awesome. Got some great, great parts. We're gonna be building tons in this video. I'm so excited, guys. Um, some of the other things they gave me, because uh, this is a pretty uh, hefty uh, Lego store purchase. They gave me this Ninjago pod thing. Uh, they're supposed to be having a Star Wars one come out, I think, next month. So that'll be cool to collect. Uh, apparently, there's like they've been doing these recently, and um, that'll be cool to collect all those. I also got this new version of the uh, the um, the Mil Milano. If this well, it says the Guardianship. Maybe it's a new version because uh, I think the one. Yeah, the old one kind of died in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. But anyhow, this is from Avengers Infinity War. It's just a little mini set. And then they also gave me the new Hulkbuster uh, Infinity... No, the Hulkbuster Ultron Edition. Um, so that's cool. It's on this nice uh, printed paper. It's a specialty paper. So that's really cool. I I think the, only, the way you get this stuff is you have to buy like an Infinity War set, but they were sold out of that. And they were like, we'll just give it to you. And I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, so that was awesome. So I got some freebies along with my big, um, uh, you know, pick a brick purchase. So fantastic. Very happy with all of this. Um, also, just don't expect to get all of the freebies if you try to do that. I don't know. Sometimes Lego store employees can be nice. Sometimes not so nice, but on this uh, trip, they were super nice, had a wonderful experience at the Lego store. So that was fantastic. Got some great stuff. It's going to be amazing. I am so excited. So without ado, let's get into building right now, guys. So something I didn't really think of uh, kind of came into my head last week, which is when I was putting the these two, you know, prototype trenches and putting them along our railing where all the other trenches are going to sit. And I saw this, you know, the spacing and, you know, we had discussed that we were going to fill it in with more brick and tiles and that it'll just overlap with the trenches. And then I saw, you know, that these uh, these big plates, they have the Technic uh, things on the side. And you know what? I was like, oh, I wonder if I if I take a brick, you know, where where would that line up? Would that be almost even, you know, the snot technique? Would that work? And it turns out that it totally does so went ahead and built something a little bit bigger just to show proof of concept and I also um, got some of my salt uh, pieces right here and I wanted to see how exactly this would work and it works perfectly so there is a slight um, this isn't perfect but there is a slight I don't know you can kind of see it let's see uh, I don't know if I can really show it on camera, but there is a very, very slight, um, can't really show it, um, lip right here where there's a tiny bit where these things go up. See if I, oh, if I kind of push it right there that it is catching on it, but it's so minor that when you lay, oh, lay these pieces over it, you can't even tell the difference that it's even slightly up. Now the trench right here, this isn't perfect. It is about one plate higher than where the bricks are at. I don't know if you can kind of see that right there, but uh, that's what's going on there. Um, so I'm just gonna drop the trench down by one, one plate high and get it to this level. But yeah, so we're actually gonna use the snot technique instead of more tiles to fill in all of this area. So you know, you're gonna have the trenches coming down here and you're gonna have all this uh, extra area so we're gonna fill all of that in with bricks um, now I'm just using two by four bricks doesn't matter what brick you're using just as long as you know it's filling it in so this actually turned out to be a fantastic idea now I also have to have a support I have like one thing under there supporting it right there so you do have to have some support it's not perfect right now because as you can see it's kind of moving right now so I'm gonna kind of like fix the flaws with this but I'm going to go ahead and fill in at least this side and see what that looks like and show you um, and get, give you guys a better idea of what I'm thinking. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and also kind of fix this issue. And yeah, so this is actually way better than using more tiles because that's so much brick that's gonna be necessary to build up and put tiles on. So this is saving a lot of resources and money. So I'm gonna fill this in real quick and show you guys what that looks like. So let's see it. And there it is, guys. So it wasn't too hard to do this, but what was hard is to get the right type of bricks uh, perfectly so that this is even, this has an even line across here. Uh, because if I had just taken like bricks like this, and even if I put like a tile on that or something like that, it still just wouldn't be even. So the perfect measurement I could find, um, and I'll show in just a second, I also just wanna show that this is like one layer of bricks and then right here, you can see this is the tile right here. That was it's so perfectly spaced the brick was able to actually connect to this other section so that's why it looks like one continuous thing it really has a neat effect you can kind of see the lines if i go this way you can kind of see it a little bit more but um, this direction you don't see it as much but that is just so so cool how that works. Um, it's just a variation on the snot technique, which is really well known. Snot is just, it stands for studs not on top, which is when you turn the Lego bricks sideways. Um, but this is kind of taken a little bit differently because you're using uh, Technic uh, bricks and kind of not using the, you know, no, you're not laying down the bricks on actual studs. It's kind of free floating, so it has a different effect. But anyhow, I just want to disconnect this and show you that when I take this off, this is the correct height, and I just wanna show you how little difference it is, but that difference makes it. So if you can kinda see it, there is just barely a height difference between, let's see if we can get there. It doesn't really show up too well on camera, but there is just a very, very minimal height difference between these studs right here, you might be able to see it a little bit better now, but there is a very, very, very small, there it is, right there. You can see that it goes, there it is, it goes a little bit above where the actual like brick part is, and then the, it's like between the stud, this perfect height right here. It seems kind of strange, but it works. <laughs> so I'm gonna build a couple of these. There'll be like one here, one here, maybe two here and two on each side. So not too many, but that's all you really need, honestly, because um, these bricks are very strong, so they mostly can support themselves, but that's kind of how it works. It just kind of fits in like that, and then you hook the bricks up right there. So that is just so awesome how that works. Um, really, really love that. That is super cool. Um, I don't think I'll actually be able to keep them connected because I think that this brick right here will interfere with the trench, which saddens me a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. So yeah, this is working out so well. I'm so happy you can kind of see how that was gonna work. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this, do this exact same thing on this side over here, and then we're gonna start working on the trenches and that'll look awesome as well. So let's go ahead and continue on guys. All right guys, so a big brick link order came in. Um, the main thing like I was talking about in the beginning of the video is those wedge pieces. And I got a bunch of them. I think I ordered like 500. That's not gonna be enough because I went ahead and put, you know, these are some right here and here. And I went ahead and started prototyping a lot. I mean, a lot of different ideas. And there's like six different designs I put together here. Um, so this this is definitely I think the most successful design and I just want to show this off real quickly. I absolutely love and adore the look of what these wedge pieces do. It looks exactly how the crate uh, the crate trenches look um, in the movie. They have the perfect texture, much better than you know just using slope pieces or or even something like that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to order like thousands of these uh, pieces and that is what I will line both sides of the trench with. Now another thing that also came in, you can kind of see it right here, is I got a bunch of these pieces right here and these as well. 
and I've also been trying to figure out what the flooring would be like um, and you know this was kind of like an experiment right here and here but this is uh, something more final so I've come up with like this design right here or this design or this design basically the difference between this and this is that between here and here it's using double of these and between here and here it's using a single piece so and then this one has a space between them, um, two different designs. So I'm trying to figure out which one I like the most. Also, this right here is temporary. I think I'm just going to put the, I'm going to get a red version of this. Uh, I think it's a one by four plate modified with only two sets on the top. Something like that is the name. But um, yeah, so I'm going to probably get a bunch of red, the red of, uh, versions of these because I like that you have studs, but also like that you have kind of a flatness to it as well. Um, yeah, this looks so good. I love this. Um, so basically the salt pieces would just kind of lay like this um, and they would all, you know, you'd have a bunch of them and you'd have your, you know, your trooper kind of like this and you'd have the salt piece. Um, just kind of hold it like that. But that that's kind of what it would look like right there. And I think that looks fantastic i love the look i love this design i'm going with it i hope you guys agree i'm not even going to vote on it because i think this is the superior design right here um i love it i also kind of was uh experimenting with how this would work um this is kind of i feel like the better way where you have this kind of indent outwards right here um like like this and then you have some more wedge pieces and then you have the top part. I was also experimenting with using, you know, these pieces that I have here, these um, right here, and then maybe having a few more wedge pieces or just kind of do something like this. So I was, I was, I was doing a lot of different things. And then I was also looking at should the, you know, should the salt pieces just hang over like I have it on this one over here or should there be a stopping you know thing like this or should there be something a little bit more subtle like this that way the web pieces don't come over as much but ultimately i think it would look best if they kind of come over a tiny bit i think that would give it a more interesting look um but yeah so that's cool and then these right here were just experiments they're snot techniques um i was just again seeing what i could do with these pieces right here. I do like the look of it, but in terms of accuracy, it's not as good. Um, same with this one as well. So it would kind of sit like this. Um, yeah, so that, that, that's what I was thinking. But I think what I'm ultimately gonna use these pieces for is I started something, you know, I was just kind of just playing around with these, but these could actually be used for the red, oh. <laughs> um, these could, uh, hopefully it doesn't fall apart like that, but uh, these could actually be used for red dust behind the um, ski speeders. I think they actually have quite a potential for that. Um, let me know down in the comments. I think that's what I'm gonna end up using them. I thought I was gonna use them for the trench, but I think the red um, the red dust would look better with, with this. Um, maybe with some trans clear bricks uh, in between it to give, you know, some breathing room between it. But I think this could work actually. Um, let me know down in the comments. This this could be a pretty good possibility. But in terms of the trenches, I think I'm definitely gonna go with this design right here. Definitely the best. I hope you guys agree. Um, but uh, yeah, now unfortunately I do not have enough wedge plates to build an entire, all this entire trench right here. But what I am gonna do is at least get uh, a, this size trench and double it in size, build that, um, and see what that looks like. I'm gonna tear this one apart. I'm gonna use like this ladder right here and some of the other stuff. And then I actually found some um, some leftover tubing. These, this is the, um, oh, what do you call it? The, uh, it's the Technic uh, air tubing they use on the old, uh, it was like piston type of stuff before it went all motorized. It was using like pump air. But uh, yeah, these tubes are actually really useful sometimes. But I might even like kind of wire that throughout the thing. I think that would look cool. Um, I love the versatility of this. I think I also have some light gray versions of that as well that I'm definitely going to probably end up using. Um, but yeah, so that'll be the last thing we actually probably do is that trench that I'm about to go show you. The other thing I did also want to show you guys is that I also covered this side. So now, as you can see, it is all covered up on both sides and it is perfectly... Uh, clear to just install the trenches here and here and that is looking 
really, really good, honestly. I love the look of the bricks. The snot technique looks amazing. It looks awesome, actually. Uh, so, yeah. And then, of course, next week, we'll probably start filling uh, like this. We'll fill in more of these plates around it. Do the exact same thing. Snot technique going this way. And we'll put in some, um, some slope pieces to cover uh, what you're seeing in between here. We'll get those trenches done. All of that. Um, but that's 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 where we're headed right now. Um, that's that's actually very exciting, honestly. But uh, next thing I just want to show you guys is another version of the trench, a more finalized version, and a bigger one at that too. So without ado, let's go ahead and take a look at that right now, guys. All right, there it is, guys. The final trench design. This is it. This is it. I love this guys, it looks so good. Let me just zoom out here. But this this is what this is what it is right here. I love the look of this. It looks so good. Um yeah, no, I'm I'm so happy with this guys. The the snot with uh, technique with the bricks plus you know the wedge pieces and the trenches, it's all coming together. It's looking so good. Oh, I love it. It's absolutely fantastic. So what do you guys think about these uh, the bottom plates? I think that looks pretty good. I'm not 100% if that's going to be final. I want your opinion down in the comments below. Do you like this? Um, definitely the actual trench here, how this looks, this is all pretty much final. Um, wow, this just looks so good on camera. I'm looking at it right now and just like, wow, this looks so, this literally, let me just put it down here. This looks like, this looks like crate right here. I love this so, so much. Um, that that just looks so awesome right there. That looks like great right there. Boom. How awesome does that look, guys? <laughs> um, we're getting there. We're getting there. But, okay, so next week, I'm going to order more of these wedge plates. So I don't know if next week, it might take a little bit. Hopefully, I get them by next week. But we're going to try to get these trenches now. Now we have the design finalized. We're going to get this all filled in now. And we're going to fill in this area. And this gaps right here these this space right here we're gonna fill that in basically we've got to fill everything in now um so we got to fill everything in i really do want to make more salt pieces so we can lay that all down and see what that looks like um, but i think next week we're going to focus on the wall because we haven't touched that uh, recently and we're also going to work on that now that i have a billion um i don't know where they went but the one by one oh here they are the one by one bricks now that i have those that's going to make hopefully building walls a lot uh, go a lot faster but yeah, in terms of the trench design, the only thing that's left to do here, guys, is just the details. So there's going to be pipes running down here. There's going to be, you know, uh, I showed you earlier the these tubes. Um, I, 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 I was thinking about putting the black one in, but I actually want to wait until I get gray, a gray version of this in first. I think the gray would look better. Um, but we're going to have tubes running down here. Just a lot of like little things that, that just add to the trench. That's all that's left, honestly. And then after we have the trenches all done, we're going to put in the turrets. That'll be the next big thing for the trenches. Uh, once we get everything filled in, we'll work on the turrets. That'll be the next big you know, thing we'll have to prototype and kind of go through all of that. But I'm so glad we have a final design now. This just looks so good. I love the way it's coming out. Um, let me know down in the comments below, uh, guys, what do you think? Um, now, don't forget that the final height is not here, but it's actually where these salt pieces are coming in. That is the final height right there. These exposed studs right here on the edges on the top, that's going to be filled in with, uh, with tiles like this right here. It's going to look like that. Um, so if you're wondering why is that exposed, that, that, that is why. Um, there might be a chance I leave it um, like that because it doesn't look so bad right now but I think I'm gonna tile it, we'll see. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below, guys. What do you think of this trench design? I, I am really, really digging it. I think it looks so good. I think the detail is fantastic. And what a simple technique, though. All you have to use is wedge plates, and it looks so, so fantastic. Um, you know, I experimented with so many different designs, and we ended up with something uh, so different. But honestly, it looks so good, but that's, that's how we're going to leave this video off, guys. Thank you so much. Um, I, I love this design. I don't know. I'm kind of... 
I'm loving it so much because it looks so much like crate and we're again we're any any time where we're kind of getting something like kind of finished up in crate it looks so good but yeah just just seeing this all come together you can kind of kind of visualize it even more now now that we filled in these areas here and over here it's looking so good I love this guys um, all right we'll end it there so let's go ahead and uh, head out to the end of the video all right, guys, so that was the end of the segment. Um, what did you guys think? Uh, what do you think of that bottom part of the trenches? You know, is that design where the, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know what those pieces are exactly called, the tiled pieces, but they're not tiles. Um, what do you think of that design on the bottom of the trench? Uh, I'm curious to hear, hear you guys' thoughts. I think the wedge pieces look it couldn't be, there couldn't be a more accurate, like, Lego design, I think, that covers those trench designs. I looked at the you know concept images in the Star Wars books, and I think that the design with the wedge plates looks the best. I think that is the way to go. That's that the look of it just looks so good. I, I kind of almost like geeked out a little bit there um, in terms of like my inner like Lego nerdism and all that. Uh, towards the end, I was kind of like really enjoying it because it just looks so good. It looks so accurate and. It, it almost has a certain satisfaction feeling to it when you get the design just right, when it looks just like what you're trying to make. That that right there is kind of like a certain happiness. Can't really describe it, um, but it, it's it's great. It's a, it's really a great thing, honestly. Um, now next week, we're gonna finish. We're gonna basically build those trenches, I hope, if the parts come in on time. If not, we're gonna focus on the walls areas and all that. Um, but speaking of the area in front of the trenches, uh, that's all going to be filled, if not next segment, the segment after that, because I put in another huge order for more of these plates. Like, I think I ordered like 70 to 80 of these. It's more than enough to cover the area in front of the trenches, which is currently open. We're going to get that all covered. Um, we're going to fill it in with the trenches. We're going to build the turrets. We're going to continue the wall. We're going to continue the side of the mountains. All of that is going to increase over the next probably two to four weeks, I would say. In a month's time from this segment, I hope all of that will be significantly, like, if not, uh, like, I want it to double in the size, hopefully a month from now. That is the goal, uh, is for the wall to be finished, for the mountains to be hopefully coming you know at least three-fourths of the way there the trenches to be done the turret to be at least prototyped and almost we're almost there that's kind of the long-term goal and then of course you know if if we get there within the next month or two then hopefully uh we're, we're we get closer to the goal of hopefully finishing crate by the end of the summer i know a lot of you are wondering how long will this take to finish the mock I'm, you know, if we keep a good rate up, especially after this big Lego store haul, this is going to help things keep crate going along week by week. Um, I hope, you know, by August possibly to get it done. But I don't want to make any promises because from previous mocks, I have uh, speculated certain dates when I think I'm going to get it done. And it turns out it's either two months, it could be a year. It, who knows? Certain things can happen where uh, delays, uh, delays more building and stuff like that you know money is always a big thing you know how uh, can i fund you know certain things and create you know lego is certainly not cheap so that, that those are all different aspects but in in terms of the building rate we're on right now it seems like we could possibly meet an august uh finish date but again that's just a prediction there's no way for that to be certain things can always happen from here to now uh, from here to then um, not here to now, but, uh, yeah. All right. Well, that's going to be it guys. Thank you so much for coming to this week's, uh, weekly segment of crate. I hope to see us next week. Um, there's going to be some big announcements, uh, for the channel here soon. I also want to make a couple other interesting videos, uh, that hopefully will be out in the next week or two. Um, but yeah, so some other new things coming. If you didn't check out the toy fair videos that are released last week, there was some exclusive footage I got from New York toy fair of some new Lego star Wars sets. If you want to check that out on my channel, link down below just hit my channel um and of course subscribe guys and that'll be it so i'll see you guys next week i hope you have a great and wonderful day bye bye guys